Ah, hi there, friends. You know, I really need a better fucking opener. <laughs> but welcome back to another episode of The Test Cycle, a series in which I check out a game, give my unedited first impressions, and today I'm extremely excited to be looking at Tape to Tape, a new roguelike hockey game that just launched on Steam Early Access. For those who don't know, I'm a super big hockey fan. In fact, at the time of recording this, my favorite team, the New Jersey Devils, are in round two of the NHL playoffs and are about to play game three, so there's no perfect time to get some hockey gaming in. Tape to Tape is inspired by the classic NHL 94, but with a twist. You have to build your own hockey team from scratch and compete in a dystopian world where resources are scarce and teams fight for survival. You can choose your path, hire unique players, discover synergies between them, pick abilities, bribe the refs, and even use a hot dog as a hockey stick. Sounds pretty fucking crazy, right? Well, let's take a look, find out how it plays. The first thing I noticed about Tape to Tape is the art style. The game uses a mix of 3D and 2D graphics with paper doll-like sprites for the players and a 3D arena. The graphics are colorful and cartoony, but they also have this kind of gritty aesthetic that fits the theme of the game. The animations are smooth and fluid, and the sound effects are satisfying. The music is catchy and upbeat, creating a contrast with the bleak setting. While the sound design is nothing earth shattering, it absolutely drives home the arcadey nature of the game. The game absolutely oozes charm, and it's an absolute pleasure to both look at and listen to. The gameplay of Tape to Tape is fast paced, zany fun. You control one player at a time with the ability to move, pass, and shoot. You can also swap players to get close to the action or let the AI take over. The control scheme is very intuitive and it's reminiscent of the early 2000s sports arcade hype, a la NFL Blitz, NBA Street, so on and so forth. The game has a simple control scheme that is easy to learn, but it's extremely hard to master, forcing you to be strategic and creative with your moves, as the game is not at all forgiving and will punish you for your mistakes. The gameplay loop has a lot of variety and replay value, as each campaign is different, introducing you with multiple roguelike choices. These choices include different team lineups, abilities, and passive upgrades. Some of the abilities are outright hilarious, like being able to freeze the puck or make it explode, throwing your hockey stick at enemy players. It's crazy. So throughout each playthrough, you'll be given the option to choose these new abilities and talents, all leading up to a final boss battle. And then once you've finished that boss battle, you'll move to the next area. But at the end of each playthrough, you're giving a currency named rubber. And based off your performance, you'll get a different amount in order to buy new upgrades to be used in later runs. The game isn't perfect though. It has some bugs and glitches that need to be fixed, like players getting stuck on the boards or goals not being counted. The game also lacks online multiplayer, which would be an amazing feature to have in a hockey game. The developer has said that they are actively working on adding online multiplayer in the future. But for now, you can play locally or with Steam Remote Play. Uh, the game does have some balance issues as well. Some abilities are too powerful, some are too weak compared to others, but all in all, the game is a complete package and still launched into early access nonetheless, stronger than most AAA titles. Redfall, we're looking at you. Overall, I personally think Tape to Tape is a great hockey game and a great roguelike if you're into sports that offers a fresh and unique take on the genre. It has a lot of potential and charm, and I can't wait to see how it evolves throughout its early access. If you're a fan of hockey games or roguelikes, you should definitely check it out. You can find it on Steam for $19.99 USD. All in all, I give this game a Lanny McDonald's lip toupee out of 10. But that's it for today's video. I want to go ahead and thank you for watching. I also want to ask that you go ahead and go down to the comments. Tell me if you're a hockey fan. Tell me if you like roguelikes. Tell me if you've played tape to tape. Maybe even tell me how to get a better intro for our videos. <laughs> also, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and the notification bell for more gaming content. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Came charging to the slot. Now it's Ralston again. Freeland 